Greetings, Jed's Moto. We're looking at a moto today. This is a review of my Warp 5 Woodpecker. I think it's a Woodpecker. Uh, Sterling engine. It's a Sterling. It's a basic Sterling engine that is powered by the wood heat of the stove. So um, I have two fans here. These are electrical fans. They run off a completely different system, which I'm not going to talk about. We're talking about the Sterling. So uh, I got this guy for Christmas. It's got I don't even want to know how many hours on it, but it's been ran every day since uh, Christmas Day. Uh, it is now basically may 14th so um yeah almost uh, five months it's been running basically every day we've had um we've had a few days where i haven't fired the wood stove but um when it runs uh it probably ran straight through january and february this year so that two months of service uh i've done nothing really with it i've just done some minor oiling that came with the kit to oil uh you know the crank pins and you know um just the points here on these seals uh, i've also found that marvel mystery oil works in a pinch all in all i've got to say it's been a pretty good little fan the only issue i had was a cylinder head gasket leak um this actually no gasket so what i did was i used high temp silicone which is what you can now use on like exhausts or um you know uh cylinder heads when you're you know putting together bits that don't need to leak fluid but also leak air so i just kind of redid that i noticed one day uh wasn't even overheating i was probably around uh the you know you know 400 mile 400 uh mile per hour 400 fair degree fahrenheit mark and i noticed a weird clicking noise and this whole base was moving because of the compression of the of the of the cold piston was pushing so much air down that it was causing this to kind of pop out so i had to kind of take this off re-put on a new gasket and um just you know see if this would work for uh you know see if it it would work and sure enough it does and it's been running great uh, i noticed this right off the bat right out of the box so something to look forward for too if you get this back. i'm in i'm in america uh this the warranty is pretty ridiculous uh they will warranty this thing for i think uh uh, for I want to say lifetime warranty, but you have to send it in for service. You got to send it over, and you know I got to pay for the, the pay for replacement parts, all that jazz. And to me, it's like I'm handy enough. I think I could figure out a Sterling engine. So uh, if you guys don't know what a Sterling engine is, it's basically a heat power engine. It uses heat from the base and lets energy, centrifugal ener heat energy, flow through the machine. Basically how it works is a convection through the machine. These are your cooling parts, cooler parts of the, engi uh, of the engine. This is the hotter part of the engine. And uh, the part that actually drives the motor is there's air in here. It should be airtight. That's why when this broke, it wasn't working. Uh, basically, it creates a pressure differential so that when you're at the top, top dead center on the cold piston, the, vat, the, the pressure from the outside pushes down on the piston, pushes down to try to create, create equilibrium uh, of, of pressure in the, in the engine. And <clears throat> so, and then when that pressure goes down, the heat expands this larger cylinder, kind of pushes it up, the heat expands out, and the cycle, can, cycle resets itself. So it's not a super efficient motor. It's been around in the 1800s, but it's a, it's a proven motor. They used to use them all the time for agriculture and such. So what I do is I kind of keep this puppy here. I've noticed it works right around the 300 Fahrenheit degree, 300 degree Fahrenheit mark. Sometimes it's a little less, sometimes it's a little more, depending on the ambient air temperature. Obviously, if it's colder in the room, it's going to work better. Uh, I have a ceiling fan that kind of circulates down, pushes the air against the chimney, that kind of circulates the heat around in the house. And, but it also will create this nice cool area on top of the stove because it's trying to push the air out around the stove and you actually get a good good RPM because it's not necessarily how much heat you add to it. It's how much how hot this bottom plate is and the differential of how cold this top plate is. If this is ice cold, this will work at a lower temperature than if this was like radiant super hot. So, and then it is still warming up, but basically... You want to cycle it, and I've noticed in this part being the, the review part, notice that it gets a little sticky at times, 
and a little Marvell mystery oil definitely in the seal makes the biggest difference. So there's a, a shared there's a shared chamber here between the hot and cold cylinders, and that kind of that is where the pressure and vacuum is created. I wouldn't call it a vacuum, but um, it really is is the pressure the pressure of the air pushing down on this cylinder that drives the cycle. It's a really interesting cycle because it's a it is an engine. It has a crankshaft. It has connecting rods and pistons, but it doesn't use any fuel. Doesn't use any spark, obviously, because you need fuel to ignite if you're going to use spark. So, well, it's getting there. Let's just supercharge this on the hot plate. This is really hot. Let's see. This is going to be hotter. See how it's starting to move on its own? Yep. And I've noticed that it's so funny because the wood stove has an optimal efficiency performance, and that is exactly the same range of the Sterling. Should go. So I try to grease it as often as I can. I try to keep the dust off of it when I can. The problem is it's just, it's so dusty when you use uh, wood heat. So as the heat increases, you'll, you'll notice the RPM will go up. And uh, that's just kind of the basis of how these motors work. So I gotta say, like I said, it, the little motor has really proven uh, proven to be really reliable. Uh, other than minor oiling issues, you just gotta keep on top of lubrication, but you're gonna have that with any engine, any any piston driven engine, you're gonna have to oil it. So um, keep on top of the oiling and the thing just runs great. So all in all, I gotta say the Warp 5 <coughs> Sterling engine wood, wood fan or, you know, hot heat fan or whatever, I don't know what it's called. Um, uh, this is a great product. It's an awesome product. It's a it's a conversation starter. It's just so much fun to look at. You just get mesmerized by the fact that it can just move by itself and it goes faster or slower depending on the temperature. And it's just the coolest thing. Like it's definitely one of the conversation pieces in the house. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. This is Jed's at Jed's Moto. Just doing a little moto, little motor that powers my fan to circulate heat in my house. Thanks for tuning in.